my friends, welcome back to my channel. My name is Maddie. How are we doing today? I am doing another monochromatic look for you guys today, this time featuring the Aha Honey palette from ColourPop. Putting this look together was interesting, to say the least. This is like the second time that I've attempted this makeup um, and I realized like right before putting the lipstick on, like right at the end, that my fan was on the whole time. Um, but you know what? I like this and I'm not gonna refilm it because I don't want to. But yeah, I am shocked that I really like this look. I have the yellow eyes, I have the yellow cheek, and I even have a yellow lip, like shocker. I'm still living out the monochromatic fantasy this time in yellow. If you guys would like to see how to achieve this monochromatic yellow look, then just keep on watching because I'm gonna show you. I'm a little nervous, okay? I filmed this video once before, or I at least attempted to, um, and it did not go so well, um, but I have a different plan of attack this time, so I'm hoping that this turns out fine. We'll see. So I'm gonna dip into the Aha uh -huh Honey palette from ColourPop. I'm first gonna take the shade Buzzkill on a very, very tiny little detail brush, and I'm sketching out a little mini V shape kind of on my outer corner. And I think I actually wanna take this like all the way towards the inner corner as well. Or at least like right there is good. With a little bit of a larger brush, I'm gonna dip into this shade right here called Oh Behave, which is just like a more vibrant yellow. I'm gonna work on gently blending out that harsh line with this more vibrant yellow. Normally I go in with the lightest shade and then I work towards the darkest, but I think with this look, I'm kind of reversing that. Then with a larger fluffy brush, I'm gonna dip into this shade right here. This guy's called Sweet Spot. It's like a nice pastel yellow. And I am going to do the exact same thing and work on blending out those two previous colors. And then with an even larger fluffy brush, I'm gonna dip into this shade right here, which is called Stinger. This one's a nice neutral, almost skin tone yellow. So this is a great shadow to blend those more vibrant yellows kind of into the brow bone. in with some of those darker colors and I'm building back up to create the intensity that I want. I'm going to take some more of that buzzkill color and I'm going to apply that right to the outer corner. I'm gonna take the shade Dandy, which is this really beautiful, bright, shimmer yellow. I also spritz the brush for maximum intensity, but I'm taking this yellow and I'm applying this all over the lid, right in between where I have that more distinct line from the Buzzkill shade. And I'm also making sure to avoid the outer corner where I applied the Buzzkill shade. So it's mostly going on like the inner three-fourths of the lid. Then I'm gonna dip into the center shade right here. This one is called Palooza. This one is a beautiful press glitter. And this one is going to go right in between where I applied the Buzzkill shade and the Dandy shade. look because it gives a really cool effect like when you turn that's when you see the glitter there and it looks really sparkly and cool next I'm gonna do a wing liner and for that I'm gonna use the ColourPop swerve gel liner when it comes to doing eyeliner with glitter on the lid I prefer to use a gel personally I feel like liquid liners tend to get caught on the glitter um, or the glitter gets caught on like the brush tip um, and it really messes it up and uh, I always feel like after using the liner with glitter, it never works the same again for me. So I like gel liner. I feel like it just glides on a lot easier. And I'm just following where I applied the Buzzkill shade. Thank you. 
Okay, so once I've got that eyeliner applied, I'm gonna go in, I'm gonna conceal my under eyes, and I'm just using a little bit on the inner corner and then a tiny bit, like the tiniest little bit, on the outer corner near the wings. And I'm just gonna blend it out using my little Real Technique sponge. concealer as like a base for my eyeshadows to kind of go on um, so I'm gonna set it after I'm done doing eyes and then also my foundation and I'm literally doing the exact same thing that I did on the top but on the bottom so I'm first going in with the shade stinger and because this is such like a light almost skin tone yellow I'm applying this very liberally underneath the lower lash line just cuz there's gonna be like a lot of yellow in this look. Okay, then I'm going in with the shade Sweet Spot and I'm applying this underneath the lower lash line as well. I have glitter actually all over my face right now, but it's fine. Then I'm going in with the shade O Behave and I'm applying this a little bit tighter onto the lower lash line, closer to the lashes. And then to deepen the lower lash line, I'm going in with the Buzzkill shade. And then as an inner corner highlight, I'm gonna go in with the shade Sunburst, which is a really pretty, bright, shimmery pastel yellow. And this I'm applying right to the inner corner. This is pretty, this has kind of like a, almost like a green duochrome. Okay, now that the eyes are done, I'm gonna zoom you out and we're gonna work on the face. My skin right now, she is looking rough, okay? My skin, she's just, I don't, I don't know what's going on right now. I don't know if I'm purging from using new products or if I'm breaking out from using new products or if it's a hormonal or what, but yeah, she's just going through it right now. So I'm gonna prime my face and I'm gonna use the e.l.f. Luminous Putty Primer because this one is really smoothing and uh, I'm a little textured, so. And I love this primer because even though it is very smoothing, it does just add that really gorgeous glow, which at this point we all know like I'm all about. Oh my God, I have so much glitter on my face. It's not even funny. Okay, so I've got the Luminous Putty Primer on. Next, I am gonna go in with the Charlotte Tilbury Hollywood Flawless Filter. And I'm applying this all over the high points of the face, just where I would normally highlight. And then also maybe just like a touch underneath the eyes for some extra brightness. Oh, I just remembered I put concealer there. It's fine. I love beauty blenders, and I love beauty blenders more than I like the Real Technique sponges, but I do love that this has a flat side to it, so it's really great for getting at like edges and stuff like that. All right, glow is on. I'm gonna go in with the Milani Screen Queen Foundation. I like this one a lot because it is a really good medium coverage, but it still offers quite a bit of glow. And I'm just pouncing that on with my Real Technique sponge. Also, you might have noticed, but I am still trying out the uh, soap brow technique. I'm wondering if I should give up or if I should keep trying. I want to love soap brows so bad, so bad. I'm all about the bushy brows, like believe me, but I just, it's so hard to work with. I gotta keep playing with it some more and see if I can find a way to apply it that like I actually like. I feel like I can still really see my spots showing through. I'm not loving that. So I am gonna go in with my MAC Pro Conceal and Correct Palette. It is filthy, don't mind that. And what I like to do is I just kind of like to mix some colors around. Um, I'll use like a pink and then like a yellow shade and then like a darker shade and just like mix them just until I feel like it looks right. It's not like a perfect match every time, but I mean, it blends in fine. I let that concealer sit on the skin for like just a few seconds and now I'm patting it out. And the reason as to why I did leave it on the skin for a little bit longer was so that way it would kind of dry down. That helps with building extra coverage sometimes, just letting the concealer kind of sit for a second. That's about as much coverage as I'm gonna get on my face, which is fine. I'm gonna brighten up my under eyes a little bit further, so I'm gonna go in with the Giorgio Armani Power Fabric Concealer. This one's a little bit too light for me, so it's perfect for just brightening up those areas where I feel like I'm still a little bit dark, just like right in the hollow of the ocular bone. I don't know why I said it like that, ocular bone. Ocular bone. And I'm blending that out as well. 
I like this concealer a lot. It is fantastic. It is like full, full coverage. It's it's more matte than I prefer, but honestly, the coverage is just insane. It's beautiful. Okay, and then I'm gonna set my under eyes using my tried and true hourglass veil powder. And I'm just taking the tiniest little bit and setting right underneath my eyes. And then I'm gonna bronze up my skin. In the last two videos, I think I just used the Fenty powder bronzer for just like a touch of warmth, but I'm actually wanting to add more warmth to the skin. So I'm taking the Milk Makeup Matte Bronzing Stick and I'm just applying the regular amount that I would to the cheek. And also blending that out with my sponge. To me, yellow is such a warm color, so I'm wanting to add quite a bit of warmth to the face this time. This is my favorite bronzing routine. I like to use this and then um, a foundation powder on top of it. And then to get up onto my forehead, I like to use a little bit of a smaller brush. And then I'm gonna set that bronzer using the MAC Studio Fix powder in NC35. And I apply this pretty liberally over the cheeks. And some up at the forehead, along the jawline, and then some onto the nose as well, why not? So now my face is all bronzed up. I'm gonna go in with blush. I'm, I did this in my last video too. I don't, I don't know how I feel about it, but we're gonna see. I, I, this might be too much. I don't know. I'm gonna dip back into the color Stinger from the palette, and I'm gonna tape that onto my little bronzing slash blush brush, and I'm going to apply this to the cheeks like a blush. Okay. All right, you know what? It's not bad. I think I can make it better, but it's not bad. I'm going to apply some to the nose as well because why not? I see girls bringing their blush onto their nose all the time, so we're gonna do that. I'm going back over with my sponge, just to remove any excess product. I'm creating another concoction onto the face. I'm taking the Becca Shimmering Skin Perfector in Champagne Pop, and on like a really fluffy blush brush, this is going everywhere where I applied that blush. And then for like an extra glow, I know I don't really need more glow, but I'm, I'm gonna add more, but like just a little bit more, okay? Hear me out. So I picked this up at Morphe. This is the Danessa Myrex Duet Balm in Morning Dew. It is a sheer uh, translucent balm with just like a little bit of shimmer. So I'm just taking it onto a little brush and I'm gonna highlight my highlighted places, but I'm adding just like the tiniest, tiniest little bit and just diffusing with my finger. here man get out of here with that glow ending it up to the forehead too but I'm avoiding this little zit here my nose Cupid's bow and my chin okay that is glowy it is yellow um so I think the face is actually done I don't hate this I really thought I was going to the first time I did this it looked god awful but i don't hate this at all i think this looks really cute i do feel very warm it looks super yellow but without being like Meh. i don't know if that makes any sense any whoosos i'll be right back i'm gonna pop on lashes and mascara and then we'll be back to figure out a lip i just realized my fan was on the entire time while filming this video so that's cool okay then i'm gonna go in with a lip primer i'm gonna use mac prep and prime lip and i like to use this to smooth out the lips prior to applying any other product then I'm gonna go in with the ColourPop Lippy Pencil in BFF. I don't quite know how this is gonna go. The last time I tried this didn't turn out well, but I did like a yellow lip liner and that just was not, was not the move. So I'm going with like more neutral color and I'm hoping that works out fine. By the way, I did apply lashes and mascara. I used the MAC um, number 83 lashes, which are called the Siren Lashes. And then I also did the Giorgio Armani Eyes to Kill Mascara. And then I also applied a little bit of the MAC Chromographic Pencil in Primary Yellow onto the waterline. I meant to do that earlier and then I forgot, so 
yeah. So next I'm gonna go in um, to this custom lip palette that I made. This I put in my kit. This just has all of my like really colorful lipsticks that are more like unique. So like I have like blues and purples in here and I also have a yellow. This one is called like Gold XIXI from MAC. I don't know, I've heard like Gold Shishi. I, I don't know how to pronounce it. I'm not even gonna pretend that I know how to pronounce it, but it straight up is a yellow lipstick. I'm going to take a lip brush to apply this. of that lip pencil and I'm gonna just lightly outline around the lips. I'm creating a little bit of a gradient with that lip pencil. Okay so once I've got the lipstick applied I'm gonna go in with the MAC Very Go Lightly Dazzle Glass which is a really pretty gold yellow with a lot of sparkle. And this is the finished look. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you liked this video. If you did like it, don't forget to give it a like. And if you'd like to see more of me, then just hit subscribe. All of my other social media links will be down below. So if you'd like to follow me elsewhere, just head into the description box. Thank you guys again so much for watching. I will see you all in the next video. Bye.